Hi beauties, I'm currently here with my little apple in the garden at Rennes Chateau in the south of France. Um, this place is really incredible. I'm talking about Rennes Chateau, of course, but this whole region. The mysteries and the ancient um, tribes and the different traditions that have come to this land and interestingly, hidden secrets, manuscripts, rituals, oral traditions here. And like Glastonbury and Grindel, Avalon, it really has the most immense, rich knowledge here that is super incredible. <laughs> it's really inspiring. It's really a place where if you come, you want to write, you receive so gently, so profoundly, so softly. And it's held in the mountains. So it's like the Pyrenees, like holding these mountains, these energies, these, the spirits of the mountains are holding this um, capacity for this place to really preserve ancient knowledge or new knowledge. And so part of my pilgrimage currently here on my personal level is to really enter into more of the depth of the Rose Mysteries and what the next step is for the school to explore um, through the initiations that we share, through the different programmes we offer and through the teachings in which Mary Magdalene are bringing forth at this time, as well as obviously being in these lands and really having a very personal and deep and beautiful journey. Um, I'm journeying with the school and currently the temple doors have just opened for the Magdalene Year's Priestess Path um, 2023-2024. Um, there is an open house coming up and there is also more information available about this incredible program and those who really are feeling the call to feel this deep nourishment from within the soul embodied experience of life. And really as I'm here in these lands, so much is being healed around worthiness and and releasing like thoughts and patterns of, of what we feel is truth and it's actually not. <laughs> it's part of our beautiful past because really we are at such a threshold of, of a deep movement and change which began around the 1212 time and 2012 and is really kind of coming into a physical momentum now. So the year's path is something really supportive for those who, you know, really are ready to live and love themselves um, fully, more fully, more deeply, more, more sweetly, and to actually put into practice a way of life that supports um, your now and your future. So much around us is changing and we really are being asked to honour the dark goddess within us, the shadow side, that which has been hidden. Um, and in these lands, I've just been really, really acutely aware of it and processing through that, but in a most exquisite way. It's so simple. The practices are so beautiful and the ways to come into communication and contact and relationship with yourself in those times is absolutely vital, vital at this time. So the year's path is supporting women to do this, to find a deep place of healing, to attune to your soul's path, to reclaim and to retrieve any parts of you as a deep honouring and holy sacrament that your life has been so far, and then to step in more fully into your soul's path. And the soul's path is really, for me anyway, a, a full yes and recognition of who you truly are, accepting what is and really embodying the I am, knowing thyself. So I really am excited about um, the new energies that are coming into the school. Obviously this influences those who will be intimately working with me. Um, and of course the mysteries here of, of Isis, the mysteries of the Magdalene, the Rose, the grail will all be part of that, influenced by my time spent here and the future times where I'll be coming to write, 
and to share more about um, the tools, practices, and actually the, the light transmissions, the, um, the sound of the voice of Magdalene that um, I'm here to share with you. Sending you so much love. I'm very excited to gather this beautiful intimate circle of women Magdalene's as we journey together for a whole year, which by the way, goes very, very fast. Um, it really is quite an exquisite journey. I'm so grateful. Thank you. From this beautiful garden, in the south of France, from my heart to yours, blessed be, blessed be.